If you are new or old to macOS, even something as simple as formatting a hard drive might seem quite difficult. And on top of that, if you don't know what you're doing, you might do something wrong. And that's something that you don't want to get into. In this video, we'll go over all of the different ways and simple ways you can format a hard drive or SSD with your Mac. This will work with both internal and external SSDs, and it is as simple as can be. Before we begin, make sure that you've backed up all of your data before formatting any kind of drive, since formatting will delete all of the data on it. So let's begin. Firstly, we'll teach you how to format your hard drive with a Mac. This part is pretty easy since you can do it without downloading any sort of special software. After you're done backing up your drive, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the Disk Utility app by searching for it in Spotlight. To do this, hit Command and Space together and then type Disk Utility and select a Disk Utility option. A new window will appear. There is going to be a sidebar that lists all of the internal and external drives connected to your Mac. If you don't see the correct options in the sidebar, click on View at the top of the screen and select Show All Drives. Once you see your drive in the sidebar, just click on it and it will give you all of the current information about it, including available storage, the storage used, as well as your current format type. The next step is to click the Arrays option, which is located at the top right of the Disk Utility app. It will give you a warning saying that all of the files and data on this drive will be deleted and all that you need to do is just confirm it. Now you can get to actually formatting the drive. It will give you the option to select a name. This can be anything you want and it won't affect your hard drive in any way. So just pick whatever name you wish to choose. Next is something a little bit more important. You are going to pick an actual format for the drive. If you pick the Apple File System or APFS format, you'll be able to use this drive on any Mac computer that you want. So if you are only going to be using this with your Mac exclusively, then this is your best bet. However, if you want to use this drive with an older Mac, specifically something running macOS 10.12 or earlier, then you want to choose macOS Extended option. On the Scheme section, it will probably say something like GUID partition map and you want to stick with that option. Then click Arrays below and the wiping process will begin immediately. If you get an error saying that the Arrays process has failed, click Done to continue. You don't need to worry because all that this means is that potentially Time Machine might be running on your external drive. To disable that, all that you need to do is open up System Preferences, uncheck the Backup Automatically option and once you've done that, you should be able to format your hard drive again. If you have followed all of the steps from the previous method, your hard drive will only work with Mac devices. They will not work with Windows or Linux. That's because Windows and Mac use two different file systems that are incompatible with each other. However, it is possible for you to use a drive on both systems and here's how to do it. The first step is to connect your external drive to your Mac and open Disk Utility as shown before. The following steps are pretty similar to the previous method. After that, click Arrays at the top of the app and choose the name of the drive. Now, when it comes to the format of the drive, use XFAT as this format is compatible with both Windows and Mac. Then just continue with the previous methods that I've labeled out before and you're done. Your drive is now compatible with both Windows and Mac. I will just mention here that for Mac, it is best to stick with APFS as it has some huge benefits for drives, including less file corruption potential and faster copying and pasting speeds. But if you must use your drive with both systems like Windows and Mac, then this is the best way to do so. Now keep watching as I do have another method that will have all of the benefits of a Windows format system and an APFS format system. Now this method will reduce the usable drive size for each operating system, but it can be great if you want to use OneDrive for two systems, but may not need them to access the same data. And you want all of those benefits that the Windows and Mac file systems provide for your drives. Firstly, open up Disk Utility as I've shown you before and locate your drive on the sidebar of the Disk Utility app. Now, you want to erase the drive as I've shown you before using the APFS file system format to begin with. Give that a moment to complete and then continue with the next step. At the top, you want to click the partition icon and a new window will appear. Here you will see a visual representation of your drive space with device information on the right. Underneath the pie chart, you will see this little plus icon. 
Click on that and a new window will appear. Here you will want to press add partition. It will automatically split the drive equally into two. On the left is the new partition, which you are able to rename and change the format. So under the name, just name it something like Windows and then under the format, use the drop down menu and select XFAT. You can also resize the partition in two ways. On the pie chart, there is this little dot which you can drag to resize so that if you want more storage for one partition than the other, as you might use a system more than the other one, then this is possible. You can also select the original partition and then under the size section, you can type in the exact storage amount that you want for that partition, which will automatically adjust the other one. Now press apply and a pop-up will appear. Click partition to complete the process. It may take up to a minute or so, depending on the size of your drive. Click done and there you have it. Your Mac operating system will see both of your partitions as two drives. While you can technically use both partitions for your files that you may want to use on your Mac, since XFAT is actually compatible with both operating systems, Windows and Mac, we don't recommend you use it for your Mac files. Instead, keep all of your Windows files in the XFAT partition and keep all of your Mac files in the APFS partition. This will ensure that your files remain segregated and they will never be corrupted because they ran on another operating system. So that's a wrap on how you can format a drive on a Mac. I hope these simple steps have helped you solve any of your formatting worries. As always, if you've gained something out of this video, then please smash that like button and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with more future videos and helpful ones like this one. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.